Hey guys, welcome to the third part of the grass series on new nature. Uh, this part is going to cover how to add mesh grass. So let's begin. First thing people do is they get the mesh grass, which we have in here is the backyard grass from speed trees. Uh, they just drag it into the foliage manager and try to draw it. As you would see here, it doesn't work. It doesn't render the grass. Now the reason it happens is because new nature has its own shader. And when you add a mesh grass, it still uses the same shader you had before. In our case, it uses the nature speed tree, which new nature doesn't support out the back, uh, out of the box. Uh, so to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to change the shader here to new nature and basic or advanced. Now the difference between them is that basic doesn't have support. Is that basic is the simple shader, and advanced has support for ambient occlusion maps and also normal maps. So in our case, where we don't have any normal maps, we're going to use the basic shader. Now, what you, are, what you want to do is you would see that it still doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work is because when you create a prototype, uh, it doesn't use the original material and it creates a new instance. So the way you want to fix this is you select all of the mesh grass, click L, and in the material that you see in here, which is the instance material, you're going to change this shader as well to basic. And there you go, it works. So that's very simple and easy to do. Um, you would notice that uh, one thing you would notice is that the uh, nature limits the max generatable density to two. The reason it does that is to save performance because speed tree uses a lot of uh, a lot of um, perform a lot of uh, verdict, sorry. But you can still draw it as much as you want. Now the way you can use more if you want, which you probably wouldn't because it's still very much a lot. But the way you can use more is you could use a different LOD. Now in V2.1, Unitra doesn't have a built-in mesh LODs. Um, it will only be added in V2.1.5, which is the next version. So the, f the fastest f uh, fix for that is to remove this one from here. Oops. You want to remove this speed tree. And you want to go to the same one, drag it to the scene, and use the LOD1, which has less verdicts. That way, we can have much higher density. Now, as you've seen before, the density you get, which is two, is more than enough. But if you want to get more, this is the best way to do so. So I'm going to choose the LOD1, drag it over here, and it should already have the, the Unature material, but let's just make sure it okay, doesn't, so let's change it. And now, we can draw again. And as you can see, you can have a huge amount of density, which is six in here. It's three times the less density. As you can see, it's a lot, lot filled up. Um, as I said, New Nature uh, V2.1.5 is going to add mesh LODs, which is going to allow you to use insane amount of grass without any issues. Um, but if, if, even if you go to runtime right now, it should render okay, I guess. Let's see. Yep, as you can see, renders just well, even with that amount of grass. So that's pretty good. Now, normally you would probably use something like two in here so let me just change that as you can see and this should give much better performance uh, with using speed trees in your project as you can see uh, more than 100 fps which is very good now obviously you don't have to use the LOD one but it's more rec it's recommended if you want to use higher densities or get faster speed now as I said, V2.1.5 will bring in mesh LOD, which is going to help a lot, so stay tuned for that. And that's it for the mesh grass uh, for now. Uh, as I said, it's going to be much, much, it's going to be much better in V2.1.5, V2.1.5, uh, so yeah.